I also feel pretty good about this one. Let's see what you guys think here between the Marlins and the Mets. Maybe another. This might have been the third uh, premium. I'm going to give it out on the show here, I think. I don't think I'm going to get too involved after losing both games of the doubleheader also yesterday. You want to be seeing a series good. Everything, right, for, for me, the premiums, it's kind of like got to be all the all stars aligned. So hopefully you're seeing that in my record right now. Please check out those handicap or leaderboards. I am think I'm hottest out of, you know, I look at there's about a couple of two dozen maybe multi-capper sites. Some of them are on the same network. You know, they share the same cappers, not just our network, but, I mean, a couple other. But, like, so my numbers will stack up. They said I can talk about this on the air. In fact, the boss said promote it. And uh, I've looked at those sites, and they're uh, – La, you know, last um, NFL, uh, last 30 days, I'm, I'm right there with all, with the you know, on top or better than all of them. So a little bit of streak right now for Ramon Scott. Let's just, let's just talk in the third person so I don't act too cocky. But a pretty good run of premiums right now. And you can see my entire record at the website all documented here. Okay, Marlins and Mets couldn't get this one right. That's why I had to talk myself up because yesterday I said, oh, let's go. Uh, you know, let's go Marlins in the first game and Mets in the second game. Well, the Mets won the first game 11 to 2, and the Marlins won the second game 4 to 2. So screw these guys. Uh, but I do like the matchup here. I'm probably going to give out a play that I feel good about on the air. Lizardo has a 2.91 ERA in his last six starts. Uh, pitching pretty well here. They're going to need Lizardo, obviously, if they get in. That's. Uh, problem number one here right now with the Marlins. They are tied with the Cubs uh, for that last playoff spot. They're probably not going to get involved with Arizona a little bit. Of, you know, let's just say it's between the Cubs and Miami. Yeah, the Reds are a game and a half back. Uh, tonight could be, you know, one night could change everything. But there's only four days left, you guys. So uh, that's that's a big factor as well. <laughs> Tonight could really seal some things. Peterson in here, 6.41 ERA in his last four starts, but I've got this one as too important of a game. The total is 7.5 over 20. Um, I'm going to trust Peterson and uh, here to have a decent outing, actually, against the Marlins. I'm going under here as my play in the game. We did see Ron, remember, he – so I don't know how he's looking at it. And I don't know if I can scroll back up fast enough. I, I do want to announce Ron Crawford's spreadsheet play of the day. Maybe Ron's still hanging out and he can uh, – really, he's so good to us. He, I really should scroll all the way back and accentuate it on the screen. But uh, you guys have filled up the chat pretty good. It might take you know, like two or three minutes and it'd be dead air, which is probably better than me talking. Marlins money line here for solo. It is, like I said, it is the Ron Crawford spreadsheet play of the day. Uh, Ron, pretty much known around these shows for putting that play out there as a pretty strong play each day, one play. So maybe we could leave. I, I think he gave it to the one he gave it to us two days ago. One, I know that. So maybe we can leave it at that for the side. Uh, he's nice enough to come. That's why I said, you know, Ron, so he's got his own, right, his own little niche. That's why when we started the show and with Mindy, I said, hey, everyone come up with their own little lock. You know, you have the scotch lock. I miss all the gang that, you know, obviously they uh, love Mindy, so they don't, you know, they don't come around anymore. But they, those guys did a great job. And, uh, you know, I always want to say, hey, why don't you guys have your own little uh, play of the day there with a little nickname to it? So appreciate Ron for stopping by, giving me the spreadsheet play of the day. I'll take the under in this one. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think it was going to be a premium. It's seven and a half over 15 now. Looks like there's a little bit of move on the under here, Marlins and Mets. And uh, I will go under. These teams trending a little bit over here down the stretch, but uh, 